Hello student, welcome to IFS. My name is Sivam. Today we are discussing uh, NaCl crystal, which is a very important to our topic. So let's start the NaCl structure. So what do you mean by the NaCl structure? Yes, NaCl structure means NaCl is a ionic solid which contains Na plus and Cl negative, and the forces between them two ions is electrostatic force or Coulombic force, which is generally a strong force. In nature, okay. Let us discuss what is the NaCl structure and what is the important points regarding NaCl structure. So let's start our NaCl structure. So we are discussing here NaCl structure. So let us see what is the NaCl structure. Structure means here a crystal structure. A crystal, you know that a regular arrangement of an atom or an array, okay. So see here, here the Na which exists in a crystal like Na plus, it will go into the octahedral voids. What do you mean by the octahedral voids? Octahedral voids are generally formed by the six atom or six spheres by joining the four spheres in a one plane and two spheres covering the upper cavity and second one covering the below cavity then the void is known as the octahedral void so na plus goes in the all octahedral voids and whereas chlorine negative which is an anion a large in size as compared to na plus which is going into the ccp what do you mean by the ccp cubic close packed structure it's just like a FCC type. I will tell you. Cl negative undergoes or goes CCP, which is known as cubic closed packed structure. Cubic closed packed structure. Na plus undergoes all octahedral voids and Cl negative undergoes CCP which is cubic closed packed structure which is known as FCC means face centered cubic system. Face centered cubic system. So what is the meaning of face centered cubic system here? Here it means that all chlorine negative all chlorine negative occupy the position of corner atom occupy the position of corners position as well as all the face center position in a cube yes in a cube so let us draw the structure let us draw the structure of NaCl and then we discussing how many types of relation between exist between edge length and the radius of sodium and chlorine negative and what is the neighboring distance what is the coordination number let us see step by step okay so let us take a molecule like so let us draw a cube okay okay let us join and make a cube so this is our cube and here we can say that very well all corner positions let us guess all corner position occupied by the chlorine ion occupied by the chlorine ion which is represented by the violet color here okay so here total corners in a cube is eight corners in a cube so let us place the eight Cl negative on each corner but the contribution of the corner atoms is 1 by 8 so here it is overall from contribution from overall corner atom is 1 chlorine negative and by the face center face center the contribution is 1 by 2 and all Cl are also present at the face center of a cube and we know that very well there are six face center because a cube contains six faces okay here are six, six face center. So here it is a six face center. 
so here I write it here very well this is chlorine negative so where it is the Na plus in this cubic system yes octahedral voids where octahedral voids so where we see the octahedral voids yes octahedral voids can seen on two two ways or two places where the octahedral voids where the octahedral voids we can see first is on body center first is on body center and second is on second is on along edge center along edge center okay so let us see let us see the octahedral void so we know that the geometry of octahedral voids there are four balls let us take a four ball and cap the cap like that they are touching each other like that first ball second ball third ball and four ball these four balls are on the one plane and touching each other let us take a one more ball and cover the upper cavity and cover the below cavity then you see that the shape is known as the octahedral shape and the void inside between void means a space between them these six ball is known as the octahedral void so let us see here where these type of structure are this in the figure so let us see let us see for example i am in a cube i am in a cube my left face and my right face my upper face my front face my back face and my lower face there are six faces so let us see this is my this is my left face left face atom i write it here left L and this is my right face atom. Okay, this is my front face atom. This is my back face atom. So what will happen here? What will happen here? See, I join the left face center atom to front face center atom and then right face center atom and then joining back face center atom and then joining again left face center atom. I joining the atom like that. Okay, like joining. So this is a square plane like that and this is my upper this is my upper atom this is my down atom this is my upper atom this is my down atom so if you see like that if you see like that this upper atom is this upper atom is coming into this cavity like that and here the down atom is coming like to that so that here here the void is here the void is present here the void is present which is known as the octahedral void or octahedral void are generally occupied by here and a plus so and a plus so here it is a and a plus so there is a and a plus okay so here it is a and a plus so one and a plus is totally occupied at the body center which is a octahedral void similarly like that edge center are also containing the octahedral void S center are also containing the octahedral void. So there are 12 S center and the total octahedral voids are in this space, in this structure is, in this structure is 4. Why the octahedral void is 4? Let us see. Let us see the contribution of Cl negative and the octahedral voids means Na plus. So let us see Cl negative contribution is face center one face center contribution is 1 by 2 and 6 face center so here it is 1 by 2 into 6 and here cl negative are also goes at corner position so it is like that cl negative contribution in a one unit cell is 4 while as while as your na plus where your na plus Your sodium plus ion is also go is octahedral voids. There are two type of octahedral voids. I tell you. So one octahedral void is going to along the S center, which is S center contribution atom is one by four, and there are total twelve edge center in a cube because there are twelve edges in a cube. So let us see here one by four into twelve plus there are one totally one octahedral void which is lie in the body center so it is looking like that and the plus is also going 4 in a one unit cell so here 4 na plus and 4 cl negative ion is undergo in a one unit cell 
तो वट इज द इफेक्टिव नंबर ऑफ एन ए सी एल मोलिक्यूल और एन ए सी एल आई एन इन गो इन वन यूनिट सेल इज जेट यस जेट इज फोर दिस फोर इज मीनिंग लाइक दैट फोर एन ए सी एल फोर एन ए सी एल इन ए वन यूनिट सेल इन ए वन यूनिट सेल so let us see what is the relation between the edge length and the radius of between radius of sodium plus and chlorine negative so what is the relation between these two let us see here if you are noticing very well so you can clearly say that the atom the atom cl negative and na plus are touching each other along edges touching each other along edges and this length is also equals to your edge length This length is also equal to your edge length, so it is your A. And if we are drawing the figure again, like that, B. If I draw the atom along edges, if I draw the atom along edges, you see a chlorine negative like a bigger in shape. Okay, and you see also the. sodium atom which is touching sodium atom which is touching the cl negative along the edges and again chlorine negative again chlorine negative which is the which is the sodium ion ठीक okay so if we are discussing here we know that this is your edge length we know that this is your edge length and and we know that very well this is your sodium plus and this is your chlorine negative ion and it is also again chlorine negative ion so we know that very well if these atom are touching each other so the radius sum is also equals to the a which is edge length so what is the relation here let us see here this is the rcl negative rcl negative which is the radius of chloride ion and here it is the twice radius of sodium plus because it is the diameter okay and again here the radius of chlorine negative so what is the edge length and relation between the nacl length radius so t here r n a plus which is twice and plus twice r cl negative so what is the relation between them the relation between them is a is equal to twice radius n a plus and r cl minus so this is our relation this is our relation between the edge length and the radius of ion sometime the student are mistaking they are thinking like that this is a fcc type of structure so the student thinking like that the relation is coming like that according to the student which is a general mistake the student thinking like that the atom is touching along the face diagonal so they will think like that this is a relation according to the student this is the relation but remember that this is wrong why this is wrong because here the face center atom are chlorine and the chlorine atoms are not touching each other along the face diagonal because they are the same type of anion okay because they are the same type of anion okay so this is our not a correct relation sometime a student also mistaking they are thinking like that the atoms na plus and cl negative are touching along the body diagonal which is also a wrong which is also a wrong sometime the student thinking yes this is the student thinking sometime the student thinks the atom of na plus and cl negative are touching along the body diagonal which is also the wrong why it is wrong because on that point the chlorine negative Final chlorine negative atom will not touching the octahedral octahedral position body centered octahedral position and na plus atom. So that's why that relation is also wrong. That relation is also wrong. So what that relation? That relation is also wrong. These are the misconception by the students and the general confusion in these two terms. These two terms are wrong. Totally wrong. Okay. The correct relation is that the atom are only touching along the edges length. Edge length, and this is the correct relation. Okay.